In this problem, we have to verify this trigonometric identity. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. So when verifying trig identities, it's usually better to start with the more complicated side or the side that you feel you can manipulate the most. In this case, I think that might be the left-hand side because we have a fraction and we can break it up. So let's go ahead and start by writing down the left-hand side. So cosine squared x minus tangent squared x. It's all being divided by sine squared of x. And our goal is to show that this is equal to this over here. So you'll notice that we can break this up as follows. You can write this as cosine squared over sine squared. So this is cosine squared x over sine squared x minus, and then it's tan squared over sine squared. So tan squared x over sine squared x. And the reason I did that is because we have a cotangent squared here. So cosine over sine is cotangent. So cosine squared over sine squared is cotangent squared. So that is a good first attempt. So we can write this as cotangent squared of x. And now here, um, just to show a little bit more work for this piece, this should be secant squared. So let's, um, let's break it up as follows. Let's write it as, well, tan squared is really sine squared over cosine squared. So let's write it like this, sine squared x over cosine squared x. And this is all being divided by sine squared x, just like that. Good stuff. All right, so this is equal to cotangent squared x. And now this is minus, and so we're taking all of this and we're dividing by sine squared. It's really sine squared over one. And remember, when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is sine squared x over cosine squared x times the reciprocal, which is one over sine squared x. Really, really nice. So boom goes away. So this is equal to cotangent squared x. And then we're left with minus one over cosine squared x. So finally, this will be cotangent squared x and then one over cosine is secant, so one over cosine squared will be secant squared x. And I believe that's what we wanted to show. It is really nice, so that's it. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.